Hi, this is Ken. I'm actually from the uh, local Vapor. We, uh, I'm one of the owners, and we have uh, two locations in uh, Doylestown and Ambler, PA. And uh, today I wanted to introduce uh, Craig Maynard from Victory Vapors, uh, who owns some stores in the area, and just ask me a few questions. We're here at the uh, PA Vapor Alley 2. I uh, just had some really great guest speakers. Craig, I just um, I know you own some stores, and I was just curious, just in general, how has the vape tax really affected your businesses? And um, you know, what, what are your feelings on the way things are progressing right now? Well, um, overall, the tax has absolutely hurt our business. It's actually um, slowed the amount of people that come down into our stores. What it did was it took um, locations away from our consumers, whether it be us or whether it be our competitors, it took those locations away. So if that person, um, you know, was a smoker, they started vaping, it's no longer convenient for them to go to the other side of town or to drive 10 miles in order to get their stuff. Um, so it's, it really, it's just horrible, you know. At Victory Vapors, we really started with a mission mm -hmm. to get people off cigarettes. That Absolutely. was really our mission. Yeah. And it seems as though we're being punished for doing that. Yeah. And to me, that's ridiculous. I mean, I've been looking for an industry all my life. I come from the construction industry, but I've been looking for an industry all my life to where I could go to work every day, I could feel satisfied and know that I changed somebody's life and helped them. And now I feel like I'm being punished for that. Yeah, it's and, and not only that, but my employees are looking at me going, are we going to make it? And they feel like they're being punished. And it's just not right. It's just not. Uh, I know in my experience, I usually do a lot of the ordering for our two locations. And uh, there's a lot of sort of uncertainty with a lot of the wholesalers that are based in other states. Um, obviously, they want to be licensed and be doing everything legally. But it seems that there's a trend where a lot of them are just passing on the 40% on just about everything. I don't know if that's been your experience where maybe some of these products really don't even fit the PA government's definition of what should be taxable. Like for example, paying tax on lithium ion batteries or, or a lanyard or glass tubing. <laughs> um, yes. Have you had any discussions like that with any of the wholesalers to see if maybe if these taxes don't go away, maybe there could at least be some more clarification from the uh, lawmakers on, you know, maybe they shouldn't be paying taxes on everything that's considered vaping. Well, to be honest with you, um, you know, in the business world, um, you know, we did reach out to our wholesalers. We did ask them, hey, we got 40% coming up. You know, what are you going to do to help us out? What are you going to do to make sure that our customers are taken care of? Or even what can you do? And the reality of the situation is most of them said, we're just going to send it to another state. We'll just send it elsewhere. We're sorry. And, and, and really, I get it. You know, they're a business. they got to make money. And if they have to pay our tax, they're not going to make money. And if they're not going to make money, they're not going to be in business. And that is the exact situation that the vape industry within Pennsylvania is in right now. We're not going to survive. So other companies outside of the state, they get it. They want to survive, and they're not going to do business in Pennsylvania for most of them. And maybe not even necessarily uh, in the country. I know some of our wholesalers are really big ones. They're focusing on international business because there's less regulation there. They um, are. It seems like a lot of the, uh, like with the Royal College of Physicians and some of the studies that are outside of the United States seem to really promote this for public health. And it's, yep. it's yep. definitely a major disconnect, it seems, um, and, and especially in our state with what people's perceptions are of it. I've, I've watched local business owners literally move their business, one of them to Europe, <laughs> and the other is over in China right now, literally, to get away from the taxes in Pennsylvania. This is where they grew up, this is where their families are, and they're moving to other countries? Is this America? <laughs> I know, it's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> you know, is this America? <laughs> Everybody wants to leave other countries to come here. But now we have business owners that are leaving here to go to other countries. This is ridiculous. Well, hopefully, so. uh, I think, like, for me personally, I think it's really about education. Educating it is. Our, our customers. And it's funny, every day we get people that come in and they still don't even know that this tax exists. And it's Correct. Pretty, it's pretty remarkable. I mean, I know that the media kind of gives the industry kind of a, a very biased sort of view with some of the reports that maybe 
have other agendas and um, I don't know if that's been your experience too. It absolutely is and we all know that there is a, a large portion of the media that only reports what they are told to report in the way that they need it to be reported. We just watch this happen in America and it's going on in this industry and, and a lot of other industries around the country. And uh, quite honestly, it's time to get the truth out. This is saving lives. This is helping folks. This is all a movement to make our health better. And they're taxing us and killing this business so that we can't do that. This does not make sense at all. Yeah. At all. Well, hopefully we so. can uh, get some traction and uh, just keep good fighting the good fight. So uh, Absolutely. I Go see your senator. Send letters to the governor. Do everything you must do to get this out there. And remember, just talking to people, word of mouth, is the biggest way to spread this message. Because walking around being a secret agent will never allow anyone to know what your agenda is. So please, everybody, if you're listening to this, please go talk to people. Talk to your local representatives. Talk to your state representatives. Talk to those folks and let them know what this is really about. Because if they're not a smoker, if they don't know anything about this, they lump us in that category. And that, smoking is not vaping. It is not the same. It is saving lives. It's helping people to breathe better. It's doing a lot of good. And they need to be educated. So please Please, wherever you're playing it, grow. Go out and talk to your local people and let them know what's going on. Thank you very much. I appreciate well your time. Well said. Thank you so much. Yeah.